Welcome to Vex Weekly. Today, we're going to discuss three different robots, each with different capabilities and each having its own unique structure and innovative benefits. Now, on Vex Weekly. Starting today with very interesting bot. This bot is very interesting for a particular set of reasons. As you can see here, this bot is not your ordinary standard band intake bot. However, it works in a unique way with an interesting first stage made of flex wheels, which we haven't seen in this season very often. And then it goes into two different chambers. And it can out an X take one chamber and X take the other depending on whichever one it wants to score. A very interesting design using a conveyor belt which goes around hitting the balls out. Now this design is very interesting and very useful too. Now, I don't believe this will be meta, but this is innovative at the very least. At the very least, this has unique capabilities. For example, if you this bot can hold what seems to be about 14 blocks, seven in each chamber. It can fill up a middle, two middle goals like that because it fills up one, pops down, fills up the other. Now, when it you don't need to fill up your whole bot with seven and then go for another round because you already got 14. This bot holds a lot and is also able to X take very quickly and score efficiently. Uh, the only part this bot suffers on are two criteria. There is the match loading bar and there is the long goals. With long goals, seven is not enough to gain control. It is slightly out. Eight is enough to where you gain control. So you'd have to go back for that one block you needed. Another disadvantage with this design is those match loading tubes. When it comes to the this robot, it doesn't seem it's able to get to the match loading tubes and in there as good as any other robot could do. However, this innovative design with a fast drivetrain, a good skilled driver, anything can be possible. And if they add um, the new LTC mech that flips down and gets into the match loading zone, I think they'll be doing fine. Anyways, on to our next spot made by Screwless. This bot is very interesting where it incorporates many components of what I believe to be the Metabots. However, there is something still missing. There is something different about this bot, which is the back. In the back, they are able to hold many blocks and with the trapdoor mech that lets them in there and also an intake in the back. Therefore, they can go get a different block from a different team, come back, grab it, and then it's in there in that chamber. Along with the trap door, they can let more blocks in there. This is a way of holding into the blocks, not trying to score them, but just holding them, which is very useful. If you are able to hold on to opponent's blocks, it will stop them from scoring. Now, there is 44, but even having a, the benefit of being able to hold on to some of them still makes it harder for them to go after others. And having a bot that still works almost as well as a meta bot while also holding on to more blocks is a very efficient design. The only part that this bot lacks on is the middle ones. It has no way of scoring on the top middle. That is the only part about this robot that doesn't work as well. I believe if they were able to make this robot to where it is pistonized, it could score on the middle and the top. And even if that chamber down there would become a little less for the blocks to fit in, it'd be able to move down and get to those middle goals, which is very good. So this bot definitely shows us the capabilities that can come when making a meta bot. For our final bot, we have what I don't believe to be meta, but I believe to be something that is very interesting and could be a very good defensive bot, which is the box, the net, whatever you'd like to call it, a bot that can hold all 44 blocks. The capabilities of a bot to be able to intake every single opponent block is immeasurable. If you're in a match with these guys and their alliance member pushes out all your blocks, then they pick them up. You are unable to score anything. All the best you can do is defense, but if their partner is a well-scoring fast bot, 
you cannot compete with that. At best, you'll tie. This vibe has so many capabilities, and as an alliance partner, as a defensive partner, I encourage teams to make this because this bot has many capabilities. It may not be able to score, so on its own, it's not very good. But with a partner, which is how Vex works, as an alliance, this bot is the innovation of pushback. So I encourage all teams to make this because this bot has everything it takes to be a winning alliance partner and a tournament champion. Anyways, that is all the bots we have here for today. It's been a very innovative week, and we'll see what happens next time on Vex Weekly.